What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to focus on the brand new Steam Next Fest for June 2022. Basically, you can get yourself a badge by downloading and running game demos. Each game demo you run is practically another level and you get up to a total of 100 XP. As you can see, I've unlocked level 55 by playing or quote unquote playing 55 different demos and I'm pretty sure this can go really, really high. Scrolling down, we can see 1,202 games are listed here with the demos, but unfortunately, most of these don't seem to work for a reason I'll get into later. Regardless, the absolute simplest thing to do is simply find a really simple 2D game or low memory game such as Agent 64 or Goodbye World, download and install, and of course run them. Upon running one game, you'll get yourself the badge and it'll show up in your profile for 10 XP. Run an extra nine demos and you'll end up with 100 XP, which is where the XP cap ends. But you can see, by me having level 55, this can go a lot higher. If I go ahead and check my profile, then my badges, then click completed, you'll see at the very top 2022 Steam Next Fest June Edition and 100 XP. Clicking on it won't show me much other than level 55. Awesome. And yes, when you hover over it on your profile, it does say the level there as well, playing 55 or more demos. Awesome. So how exactly can we cheese the system? Well, you don't need to download and install every single demo in order to get every single demo counted on your account. If you don't know by now, there's something called idling on Steam. Essentially, when you buy a game, you get probably five or so cards that drop from it, which are somewhat tradable for real money through the Steam market. Or you could, of course, buy or trade for more, level up your Steam account by crafting badges, burning those cards, etc. Anyways, long story short, you can make some money or at least make some money back by idling games on your account to get all of those card drops for each different game. Every game has five or so, depending on how much you spent, etc, etc. Anyways, essentially, that works by creating a developer copy of a program, which you can put any Steam ID you want into. And when you run it, Steam will say, do you own the Steam ID? And if you do, congratulations, it'll start up and it'll say that you're playing Battlefield or Call of Duty or whatever it is, depending on whatever Steam ID you put into it. That's exactly how these farming and idling programs work, and that's exactly what I've created. I'm relatively good at coding open source things, and just because I saw an opening here, well, that's exactly what I've gone ahead and created. I posted this last night, there's eight downloads, people are complaining about it not working, but I haven't even finished it yet. <laughs> anyway, I've put in enough work that now things should be working properly. Long story short, if you're an Archie Steam Farm user, thanks to a user on my Discord, Abstract, as you can see on screen, there's a bunch of different app IDs you can activate here. 10 of them are listed, and by simply running these three commands in Archie Steam Farm, if you have that set up, 10 games will be activated and run, and you should have a level 10 badge. But it seemed to fall apart when I was throwing in hundreds of app IDs, and it got very confused very quickly. Also, I only want to launch them up for a second each, so that's pretty much what my software does. So essentially, it's open source like my other projects, such as the incredibly popular Techno Account Switcher, link in the description down below. It's the fastest way to swap Steam accounts and other platforms. Anyway, essentially, you'll download the program, extract it, create an app IDs.txt file, which is either comma and or line separated, filled with a bunch of different demo IDs. You run it once, it'll check to see if you own everything, as in it'll try to install it. The install window will then pop up and you can simply leave it open or close it as it will be replaced by more windows as it runs through all of the app IDs in that file. By simply pulling up the install window, it activates on your account. This of course assumes that you're feeding it all free to play app IDs or free demo app IDs, etc. When it's eventually done running through all of the games trying to activate them on your account, then on the next start of the program, it'll run it for a certain number of seconds each. So I'll simply head across to the link in the description down below, the Techno Mass Steam Idler. I'll click download at the very bottom here, the big orange button. I'll make sure .NET 6 runtime is currently installed. I've used my account switcher, so it definitely is. Otherwise, follow the link over here, click download x64 as shown in this image, install it. And when that's done, you can download one of these two files from down here under the assets section. They're both exactly the same, just the smaller 7z file requires 7zip. The normal zip file can be opened on any computer, so I'll be downloading that. Then I'll click on it to open it up. 
This is the outdated version, but I will make sure to update this before posting this video. Regardless, inside of here, we see a bunch of different files. All we're going to do is extract these into a folder, say on my desktop, TMS, I'll call it. There we go. I'll open it up and I'll simply drag all of the files out of the zip into this folder here. Just because these are outdated, I'll replace them with my copy that I'll be uploading in just a moment here. There we go. Yours will look something like this. Essentially, we'll right click new and then click text document. I'll call it app IDs, one word, no uppercase, and I'll simply open it up. Inside of here, we can chuck a ton of different app IDs and in the description down below, you'll find a ton of demo IDs that seem to work. Scrolling up to the very top of this page here, then to the discussions tab, then Steam Next Fest 2022, I need to add June to the title. You'll simply look for this link over here, check app IDs. I'll click this to download it, and I'll either open it up, then copy across all of the IDs, or I'll simply drag this file, appids.txt, into the install folder where we dropped all the files. Just because that has a two next to it, it's easier for me to copy paste. Essentially, there's 61 demo IDs here that seem to work for me. It may be different at the time of you watching this, if any of you find any more that work. I'll get into that later. Now that we've done this, all we have to do is make sure Steam is running. For example, I'll pull up my friends list over here, which should show in just a moment. There we go at Elrun Techno Mass Steam Idler.exe. When the black window does open up, essentially right away, it'll start activating games on your account. So as you can see, Spacetime Demo is trying to install. I'll simply push this across to the side and let it run through all of the app IDs on this list here. We need to wait for this to complete. This will take some time. It takes around about five seconds for each of these to try and activate, as that's pretty much plus minus the amount of time it takes for this install window to pop up on your screen. So all we have to do is sit here and wait. And of course, it'll only activate ones that aren't currently activated on my account. You can see I have number six and seven already activated, so it's not even going to try and activate them for me. We just need to wait for this to finish, and then it'll ask us to close it and run it again. The reason Space War is showing is actually this uses Steam API to connect to your Steam client. Don't worry, I can't do anything with your account. Essentially, it checks to see if these are activated, and then if it's not activated, it'll run Steam install, followed by the app ID, which is exactly the same thing as clicking download on the Steam Store website with Steam installed. There we go. It's now complete. Press enter to close. So I'll do exactly that. And I can close out of the install window here, as I'm not going to be installing anything. That being said, while actually testing this out now, three of the 61 app IDs that I had actually don't work anymore. The thing is, is that it tries to launch Steam, colon, forward slash, forward slash, install, followed by the app ID, and it pops up with a window like this if it's valid. However, if it's invalid, for example, this one over here, instead of opening up an install window, it opens up the store page where the download button is missing, doesn't work, simply refreshes the page, etc, etc. That's why of the 1,200 that I tried to test out, only like 60 of them actually worked, which is disappointing. Anyways... The list will be updated for you and should work for the most part. Now that it's done, all we have to do is launch it once more. This time, you'll be prompted to enter a number. And as you can see, we're not actually playing Space War anymore. I'll keep it to the side so you can see my name up here. Ignore it. And I'll enter a time here to play a game. I'll enter, say, three seconds per game. I'll hit enter. Then, as you can see, now, as you can see, I'm playing one game. In three seconds, it'll change to the next game. For now, then, I'll go invisible so I'm not spamming all of my friends playing thousands of different games. This is where ASF Archie Steam Farm didn't seem to work properly for me. When I head across to my profile, all recently played, you'll see that this list here updates every time a new game is fired up. This wasn't happening for me with Archie Steam Farm for some reason, so that's why I'm avoiding it and instead went the route of creating my own program to do exactly this. There we go. It's running through everything exactly as I had hoped. And if we head across to the Steam store page already, you should see that in the next fest section that your badge is currently being upgraded just with these things running in the background. Level 68. There we go. Right click, reload, scroll down. Level 71. And it just keeps climbing and climbing. Every single game that we activate and play is pretty much another level on top of it. Maybe this list will be longer, maybe it'll be shorter, depending on what game demos work. If you find out that certain game demos actually work, do make sure to leave a comment on that discussion, link down below, where you downloaded the app ID's text file, letting me know so I can update it and everyone can get higher badge levels. How exactly do you know if certain things work? 
Well, essentially, you'll be populating appids.txt with a bunch of demo IDs that you think may work. You'll run the program, and as long as skip check or whatever skip something it is file doesn't exist here, then when you run the program, it should run through each one trying to activate them. Then the next time you launch it, it'll try and play them, and inside of the app IDs activated text file over here, you should see all of the app IDs that work properly. I hope I explained that well enough. Anyways, running it through once more, every game that is activated from that list is being run, and of course level 97. I don't know where the other 30 or 40 games are that I played, I'm not too sure why the demos aren't working now, but anyways, at least this seems to be working properly. I'll see if there's anything more that I can add to this, but for now, that's pretty much it. 57 seems to be it. So I'll wait for this to run through to completion, and there we have it. The last one's running, and now it's done. Now I'm not too sure why it's not closing. I should probably just manually close it. Here we go. Right click, reload. And as you can see, level 109. You won't be this level because the app ID's text file seems to have certain app IDs missing. Again, you could be higher, you could be lower than this. You have a really high level badge now. The only unfortunate thing is that it's only worth 100 XP, and that's specifically to stop people like me, and of course you now, from getting tons and tons of XP from spending no money on Steam. That's why the cap is 100 XP. Anyways, that's really about it for this quick video. I wasted far too much time programming that, so I really do hope you find it useful. In future, when it comes to idling games for a certain amount of time, this will definitely help. And of course, if you need to activate a ton of free-to-play games, free-to-play demos, this should also help as well. As for why Archie Steam Farm didn't work properly for me, I'm not too sure. The commands will be in the description down below for the first 10. You're more than welcome to go ahead and copy in the rest of the app IDs. Though just keep in mind, if you are using Archie Steam Farm, it doesn't allow you to put in more than 32 app IDs at once. So you'll need to split that up manually yourself. Anyways, that's really about it for this relatively long video. I hope you found this entertaining or at least useful. My name's been Techno Behavior Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.